Hey guys, it's Tori from Calypso Creative Planning. Happy Friday. For today's video, I've got a brand new book journaling video for you from a book that I read back in November of last year. So I cannot wait to show it to you. So stick around. Before we dig into this book journaling session here, I just wanted to throw out a reminder that this weekend is the last weekend that the first issue of my monthly subscription will be available. So on Monday, issue number two for June goes out to all my subscribers. So when that happens, the May issues will disappear. So you can still find most of those goodies in the shop, all except for the exclusives from the subscription, but they will disappear from the subscription library and will be replaced with new ones. So if you don't want to miss out on the first issue and get ready for the second issue, don't forget to go subscribe download your goodies if you haven't done that yet. The links for the goodies will always be available as long as you download that catalog from the subscription. Okay, all right, now let's get to the book journaling. Okay, so for this particular spread, I was working in my 2021 Teal book journal, and at the time, I was still planning in note shelf for my book journaling and this is about the time when I started having problems with the text feature in Note Shelf. And I don't know what it was. It kind of comes and goes if I go back to the app. So if anyone else has had this issue and figured out what to do to fix it, let me know. Um, but at this point, I think it was like after I created this spread, I made the switch back to GoodNotes for my book journaling. Because at the time, I was doing all of my planning in GoodNotes with the exception of my book journal being in Note Shelf. Because I was going kind of like back and forth and back and forth to figure out which one I liked the best. But this just kind of like pushed me over the edge. And you guys won't have to suffer through everything that I had to deal with with this text issue. I had to go through and edit out so much of this video. Um, the screen recording because every time I would go to do text it would like the screen would skip around and I don't know like you can see still see like a little of it like it and it just got like worse and worse it was it was so frustrating so I edited a bunch of that out so you guys don't have to um, see that and yes I realized I spelled Stephanie's name wrong uh, it's something I can go back and fix we're digital it's fine but this whole text thing, as you can see, it's like jumping. And like I said, I edited out a bunch. I mean a bunch. This video would be like twice as long if I had left all that in there for you guys to see. But I figured, you know, why bore you with those problems from this Problem Child app? So I just, I just edited that out. But if anyone has figured out how to fix that or what, I don't want to like get rid of the app and re-download it because I have to back up all my stuff. Granted, there's not as much stuff in Note Shelf as I have in GoodNotes, but still, it's kind of a pain in the ass. So if anyone has figured that out, let me know. Um, if you haven't seen one of my book journaling videos yet, let me give you a little background. And if you have, I'm sorry you're suffering through this again, just bear with me. Um, when I create these, uh, these book journal spreads, all of the review pages are linked to the monthly calendar. So I put the cover on the day that I start reading the book and then I can just click the little date and it brings me to this review page where I can add like a big cover, which I get 
using like a screenshot from the Kindle app on my iPad. And I add the cover, I add all the book details, and add my favorite quotes that I highlight while reading. And thankfully, because it is a Kindle that I'm reading on, I can export those notes straight to my email so I can just copy and paste. I don't have to actually like write any of that because when I first started book journaling, I was writing all of those because I did not realize I could export my notes. So, game changer. But I love creating these book journaling spreads. And if you saw my last video where I compared journaling in GoodNotes to the, it's now called the Go Journal app. It was Daily Notes, now it's Go Journal. I compared like this creative, like fun style to a more functional style. And if you haven't seen that video, go back and, and check it out so that you can like compare and see what's right for you. But personally, I just love being more like creative and free flowing. Now I like seeing all my notes on one page instead of like scrolling through them. And I just love it. These book journaling pages are just so fun for me. And it's like, uh, I need to be better about like actually doing it like right after I finish the book. Um, so that I can, this, this is going to sound weird, but <laughs> I need to start doing it right after I finish the book so that I can decorate accordingly. I know that sounds kind of lame, but you know, like some books just have like a vibe about them. Like this, this spread is very vibey and I actually did this spread a day after I finished the book. So I feel like it's, it goes to like kind of on theme with this book and I feel like if I actually caught up my book journal to like doing it like right after I read the book that it would they would all kind of have that feeling of being more reflective of the theme because this there's some some like dark and twisted elements in this story and I feel like how I end up decorating this page really reflects that. And like there's another book that I read recently that while I was reading it, I kept picturing in my head how I would decorate the journal page to go with it. And here's a hint, sunflowers. There's gonna, there just has to be sunflowers. I even in my head was thinking, okay, who has sunflower stickers? That would be Digitally Wild and the Digital Siren. Like <laughs> this is, this is how I was planning out as I was reading the book. So I want to, I say that I want to decorate the pages and like journal about the book like right after I read it but I have a tendency to the day I finish one book start reading another book and I mean that's what I did this week actually I finished a book on Monday started another book on Tuesday finished that book on Thursday and started a new book on Thursday so that doesn't really leave me a lot of time for like journaling about the book in between all that but I feel like if I did that then it would be you know more vibey to the story so sometimes I end up decorating the pages based on like the colors of the cover and then other times like this it kind of works out to where it's a little bit of both to where it vibes with the color the cover and like the colors and everything, but it also really, really vibes with the story. And I, I feel like this is turning really rambly. So if this doesn't make sense, like you're probably used to that by now, but it's okay. So I guess my question to you that I would love to hear in the comments is, do you book journal? One, first, first and foremost, do you book journal? And if you do, like, do you like the more creative, you know, themed vibe like this where, you know, you've got images and stickers and whatever, or is it more functional? And like, do you journal about the book like right after? Some of my book journaling ends up being like more of like a book review than my favorite quotes because uh, especially if I do, if I get like an arc from like an advanced reader's copy from an author like Julia Sykes. I'm on her ARC team, so I get all of her ARCs 
thankfully. Yay. Love that. So the spreads that I do for those tend to be <clears throat> tend to be like a mixture of reviews, like book reviews and quotes. Sorry, I had to get some coffee there. So, so my question is like, what do you do when you read a book and you want to remember what you read and like, do you just do like a basic review? Do you just kind of like track, like here's the cover, here's the stats and that's it. Or do you like go full on like something like this and be all like creative and you know, not that the other one's not creative, but you know what I mean? Like making it pretty, making it themed. What do you do? And let's see. Um, by the way, let's see. I, I feel like I'm all over the place this morning, but maybe not nearly as much as last week. I don't know. The stickers that I'm using for this is part of my Halloween sticker book from, oh gosh, is it last? No, not even last year. I think it was the year before last. I think it was like 2020 when I made this book, this sticker book. Wow, that's crazy. I think it was. Um, but I felt like this sticker book and this book review page would go perfectly with the collage theme that I have going on this week. If you haven't seen that, like, <laughs> where have you been? Um, but I kind of went with like a spooky vibe this week. Man, do I say vibe too much? I just realized that. I also realized the other day I say definitely too much. Yeah, I do that. I do that. Anyways, um, this week my planner collage was like, oh, damn it. I say like too much. <laughs> okay. The planner collage this week was very, um, like I had some spooky glam themed spreads in there and mostly the arcane beauty because that's my current collection. So I wanted to do different spreads that kind of go along with those colors. And so I kind of wanted to keep that as, as the theme. Um, so I figured that this book spread would be perfect for that. Oh, do you guys hate it when you accidentally hit a link? That is exactly what happened there. You don't do that in good notes. So that is, that is one of my pet peeves about note shelf is that the links are always active. And I know some people really love that, that the links are always active. But for me, I don't, I don't want to hit a link when I'm just trying to move a sticker. And that has been one of my biggest pet peeves about note shelf before this whole text issue that was just a pain in the ass. But okay. All right. I'm running out of time. We, we almost done. I gotta go. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>